Ultra Heavyweight Agraf Uchin in the red gloves taking on Andre Grinovic. It, oh, sorry, no, it appears we've got a bit of a switch around here. Andre Grinovic in the red gloves and Akraf Uchin in the blue. In the red corner, Andre Grinovic, the warrior of the night from Belarus. 0 oh 1 here at Karate Combat. Stepping up in weight class a little bit for this one. In the Decorated Moroccan fighter at Krafuchin, victorious in his karate combat debut. He's going to have a little bit of an advantage with the reach. You ready, sir? Are you ready? Let's go. Fight. All right, here we go. So, Bass, these guys have actually fought a couple of times before in different styles of rule sets and organizations back in 2015 and 2016. They're one win apiece each. Oh, a rubber match. A rubber match, but under some full contact rules. Oh, what a way to do it. Three minutes on the clock here. Black pants for Uchin, white pants for Grinovich. I tell you, Bass, the uh, power these guys have, it's not going to take too much to... Uh, Put one down if they connect. That's it. You just need to connect, especially with that weight as well. This is at 93 kilos. The heavier weight class that we have here at Karate Combat. Ooh, that connect there. Look at this. That's the beauty of this pit. I love it. <laughs> Good evasive work there from Grinovich. High boxing guard from Uchim. Nice kick there. A little kick his ass. Did you see that? <laughs> <laughs> Tie up in the clinch there. Grunovic just misses over the top. Looked like Uchin looked to connect his hands for a moment. Grunovic pushed him away. The extra addition of the, the clinch and the shots on the ground are all going to be things that were not really apparent to them in the last couple of times they fought. Oh, nice job. Good exchange there. Uh, Coming forward, wanted to throw him, throw, but it didn't work. Nice right hand there by Grinovic. Oop, inside kick. It's very dangerous with open stance because you're not allowed to kick between the knee and the hip. Uchin coming off a knockout in his last appearance here. Said he was very, very happy with this win. Conversely, decision loss for Andre Grinovic in his previous fight. That was his first experience of full contact. Didn't know what to expect. He's getting a second experience here and pushing the head away to strike. Is Uchin getting vicious with it? Little cross face action. <laughs> Trying to do a call for a cross face, I have to say, because he didn't do it. Grinovic was of the opinion he'd have superior mental strength and conditioning. That's a nice way to go into a fight. No wing that you can go the distance. It's there's a lot for you mentally. 15 seconds left in this one. Big wide shot from the Belarusian. Uchin throws one over the top. We've only got 10 seconds left in this round. Again, they tie up. Words, Uchin looking very unhappy. Yeah, that's got to be for a great second round. Well, we're just trying to ascertain what's happening here. Illegal knee. Illegal knee. Oh, a knee. He gave him a knee. Illegal knee from Andre Grinovich. He's going to get a one-point deduction at the end of that first round and bass that early in the fight. At least he has a chance to build it back up, but what a mountain he's now got to climb. Let's take a look at some of the replays from that first round in this heavyweight contest. And that was Uchim pushing forward. Grinovich using the pit wall to escape. Oh, I love it. Let's go for the hip throw, but yes. nice defense there by Uchim. Trying to step across for the Haragoshi. Just like anything else, something you've got to really commit to. And this was 
Some viciousness. Yeah, he should have cross faced him. That could have worked. Yeah, see pushing away to break the grip, trying to strike with a straight punch. Can't hammer fist, can't ridge hand to a downed opponent, but you can land straight shots, standing over the top of them or with one knee placed on their torso. So Grinovich now has a point deduction. That means he lost round number one. He needs to step it up. Yeah, he either lost round number one. Well, they either drew in round number one or he lost by a, a big margin. Yeah. I thought, it was, I thought it was about even. So then with a the point deduction, he lost it. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see what the judges scored. Uchin driving forward and Grinovich having to bail out back on the pit wall. That was nice, he pushed yeah. himself upwards. Get up, get up, get up. We're learning new things about how these fighters use this arena surface every day. I would have it in the, in the gym, <laughs> for sure. At least one wall so you get on a corner that you can practice. Absolutely. It's uh, a wonder, Bass. I mean, it looks like we're going to see a lot more intention Ooh, nice right from Grinovich now. He knows he's probably got to come back from a deficit, really but, pressing forward. Mm -hmm. But the problem is, you know, if you start pressing forward, you might you tend to make mistakes as well. Well, he's got clipped twice on the way in now, so... There you go. Exactly as you see. Can't afford to be predictable. Oops. That was a nice one. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it, Bass? When a fighter shakes his head after taking a shot, it usually means, OK, you did actually get me. Yeah. Oh, but they have a little smile. Yeah. <laughs> that means it hurt. I'm just acting that it doesn't. <laughs> Minute 45 left in this one. Don't forget, you can head over to karate.com. Get all the gear from the promotion. Yeah, he kicked above. Oh, and are we going to no, get No, I think because he, he kicked uh, between the knee and the hip. Yeah, we're going to get another warning. Yeah, see? That's what he... So, our referee Kevin Sataki just clarifying the rules. It's just going to be a clean warning at this point. He's lucky. Otherwise, he would be two down. Yeah, I guess I'm going to go and say ahead, say that the knee in the first round, because it was deliberately intentional, that's disregard or requires more decisive action from the referee. Yeah, that's true. With an open stance like they have, so when one is the southpaw, the other one is orthodox, the inside kicks, very dangerous to throw. Uchin launching himself across the mat, getting stuck in on the pocket here. But you see, he threw Grinovich through like these slow little punches, and Uchin came back with one big bang. <laughs> That's how you do it. Well, Uchin... Getting a little bit wilder here, head kick up, and that's where Grinovich needs to follow up. Does a good job. And shots on the ground here, perhaps. Well, Grinovich not having the intention to follow up. We've got 45 seconds left here. And you're right, Bass. It just seems like the Moroccan is throwing with so much more intent. Again, Grinovich claps around the body to try and halt the action. And he's now being warned by the referee. You've got the to, you cannot strike the yep. back of the head. You strike the target as it's presented to you. So if your opponent turns away mid-strike, that's their fault. But if they are curled up and you hit them directly in the back of the head, you are going to get fouled. Connected again, over the top. You see, that's what happens when you don't throw power strikes. Grinovich is not throwing power strikes, so you can easily take a shot and trade it for a big one. Some of your Dutch style coming out there, Well, Bas. you know, I'm thinking Mike Dyson, everybody says, oh, why don't they counter him? Because they know that <laughs> if one shot lands, you know, he throws power shots, you're going to get knocked out. You can't counter. You cannot take the risk. But, like flurries like this that have not real body weight in them, I would simply counter. Second round in the books, action on the replays here. That was Grinovich launching himself up. The uh, corner of our embankment here, and Uchin not really caring, and really pressing forward with the attack. Boop, yep, that was that inside kick. Yeah, and it, it just, just landed a little bit high. But as we say, in that instance, accidental, because it was very close to the target zone. I think if he wouldn't have moved backwards, I think he might have hit him low. And Uchin trying to put an exclamation point on the end of that one. This is where he's going to get warned for shots to the back of the head. There you go, you see that little right cuffing hand. Nothing of substance, but it's an illegal strike nonetheless. Seconds out. Actually, I'm thinking, no, no. If he would have come forward, then he would have hit him in the middle, not the other way around. Let's go, let's go. Let's 
Back down into the pit for our third round. Last three minutes on the clock. You ready? You ready? Let's Some heavy breaths from the Moroccan, perhaps, Bas. Yeah, I saw that in round number two already, and I wanted to say something, but what, that was the moment that he actually <laughs> attacked. So I got out, oh, maybe I was wrong. When he laid on the ground, and he stayed on the ground. Absolutely. To me, it looked like he was tired. Yeah, a little bit more laboured in his breathing. You know, I mentioned it earlier, Grinovich really said he thought his conditioning was going to play a big factor in this. He's got two minutes and 36 seconds left to prove it. But he's got to go. He's got to pull all the stops out. Not a big left yeah, he, hand there by Uchin. He can't make any assumptions about these scorecards. With that point deduction from the first round, Grinovich has no choice but to really try and go for the kill here. Well, that's, a, that's an illegal technique from Uchin. Double leg, both hands around the legs. He's got to be careful. He'll get a warning for it. One more and maybe the referee will look to take a point. Good body shots from Uchin. Whoa. Big right hand again. He's got power in his hands. They're wild, but again, but they connect. Oh, see? and he catches him. Grinovich caught with his chin up, and he's done a good job of slowing the, the action down there. Just able to regain some composure to grab hold of Uchin because he ate two or three clean shots. And Bassett really is the fact he leaves his chin high up in the air during those exchanges. Yep. First thing you learn in boxing, right? You would hope so. Keep the chin down. Get that tennis ball, lock it under the chin, keep yeah. it there. Uchin seems to cover forward distance just a little bit quicker. Last minute left on the clock. Referee's going to break them again and he's going to warn them. Be conscious of where that forehead is going. Again, Uchin comes forward, big shots and... A little bit easily going to the ground that time was Grinovic. Both fighters again, it's one or two shots, lock up in that clinch. Start to see it a little bit with fatigue. You really want someone to force a break and throw on the break. We haven't seen it from either of these guys yet too much in this bout. Nice high kick. And the defense though. Yeah, Let's still throw it out. Could it be too little, too late? He's got 15 seconds left to work. Has Andre Grinovich. Last 10, little hook on the break. Punching wise, I don't think he got oh, it. Oh, he ate that wise. shot. He might. That's it. And that is the end of this one. Yep. I've got to say, probably the bigger, heavier strikes landed by Akraf Uchin. One good final shot at the end there. Let's take a look at some of the replays from this third round while we wait for the judges' decision. Bass, a lot of clinching in this bout and in this third round particularly. Yeah, well, but every time on the break, big string from Uchin, and he connects it here. Now he's going to follow up and he's going to hit him again. That's the one, two, and then another one, and there's another one. The that third. was arguably the most uh, decisive exchange yep. of that round, wasn't it? Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> just <laughs> the chasing last one, him. I think, just might have just missed. You know, rebounding off the wall saved Grinovich there, <laughs> helped him close the distance. Again, falling down. And there was one big shot at the end I hope we're just going to see in a second. Or well, not, perhaps. Bass, who do you think the judges are going to go with in this one? Close fight for sure. Close fight, but I got to go with Uchin because he led the more serious shots. He did the more damage. Okay. Oh, uh, well, we've got, a, we've got a decision, it looks like. Our referee, Kevin Sataki, brings them back to the middle. Let's get the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner is Majority decision. The blue Ashraf Majority decision for Akraf Uchin. What that means for you at home, ladies and gentlemen, is one judge scored this a draw and two judges gave it to the Moroccan. Akraf Uchin, successful here. I love the show of sportsmanship. This is the third time that these two competitors have faced each other. It's the Moroccan who's coming out on top today.
as they thank the opposing side's cornermen. And a nice backflip, which the crowd very much loves as he dives up the pit wall to join our co-host, Leila Anneli. She's with Accra Future. Congratulations. You seem to have ended the story of a trilogy there because you fought each other twice before, and now you're on top. Whoa, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. I've missed the pit. I've been two years away and now I'm back and God, it feels good. It feels good. I'm happy to be here. Thank you guys. Thank you all the fans and see you guys again. See you again for sure. A highly entertaining fight. You've mentioned you're two years away and in that time you've been doing a thesis in video analysis. How much did that help you prepare for your opponent? Yeah, I've been uh, doing a uh, uh, a research for my studies. I've been analyzing all the professional fighters over there. I've become uh, experienced in that. I guess that helped me also to get onto his game. Uh, I know that he's uh, uh, an opposite uh, guard uh, opponent. I've worked from the outside. I waited for his mistakes. And uh, as the judges agree, I got this fight. And I'm happy for that. Thank you. And if you're looking to the future, any names you want to pull out of the hat, Black Magic might be the next one. Anyone wants the belt, he, he needs to pass me first to get the belt. The belt is mine, I'm here to take over. And yeah, Black Magic, all my respect for you. I'm waiting for you. You better be ready, Ben. Yeah. Congratulations, well done. Thank you. Strong intentions from Akraf Uchin as he exits the pit to embrace his team. He's confident he can go all the way here at Karate Combat. We've got a whole roster of fighters.